Today's video is made possible by A-Data. Their new Premiere Pro SP920 SSDs feature blazing fast speeds and size up to one terabyte. For more information, check out the link below. Welcome back, my friends, to another tech episode here on Tech of Tomorrow. What are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna to show you guys how to maintain and clean your liquid cooling kit. Now, some might go, why would I wanna do that? Well, when you're using a bunch of different liquids inside of your kit, a lot of times some of the parts inside there can start to get corroded and different things happen. Now, cleaning the kit out with the particular kit that we're using today, which is the Mayhem's Blitz Pro, it takes off all the oxidization, all those bad trace minerals, and creates a much better environment for your cooling system to be in, which actually helps dissipate heat and just make it run altogether better. Now this kit's about $49, and it's actually not for the meek of heart. This is actually a pretty professional level type of product. You even have to wear gloves when you use it so that you don't get any on your hands. Or, you know, maybe you have to do a proctology examination that day. Maybe that's what they're for, no. But anyways, so that's what this video today is about. It's about this cleaning kit and how to use it. So with that said, let's jump in, let's unbox and take a look at the kit, what comes inside of it, and then let's talk about how you use it and clean out your system so that you have a fresh, brand new, clean system for your liquid to go back in and keep your system running cool. <gasps> All right, folks, so first off, here we go. We have the Mayhem Blitz Pro kit. Like I said, this thing's about $49, already did the cut. And by the way, this stuff comes from the UK. So it's made from those people over there who love dark beer, love their tea, and love the fish and chips. That's right, just poking fun at you guys. If you guys like other things, I know you do, and just kidding. So, but from across the pond from England, it has came. And so let's start unboxing it. Now there's two parts to this kit. And the instruction manual, the first thing they're gonna tell you to do is they're gonna tell you to put on the gloves. That's right. So here are a bunch of sets of gloves. So like I said, you can use these for this or they're good for proctology examinations, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. So first thing you do is you put on the gloves. So the gloves come in it, part one, part two. These things are also different pH balanced. Here we've got some glasses. Oh shit, okay. Now, <laughs> I gotta say, now this is more hardcore than I thought it was going to be, so let me open the glasses up here, whoa. Ha! All right then. So, they even come with glasses. Oh my goodness. So let me put these on and get the camera and re-zoom back over here and show my ugly mug with the glasses. So the entire video must be filmed in mayhem vision. So, you got your glasses. You got your old uh, proctology gloves here. So I'll get one on my hand here. Um, cameraman, would you mind uh, bending over over here? We're going to just make sure we're going to do your weekly proctology examination and make sure you're okay for filming. So, uh, having a little trouble with the gloves, folks, because actually my thumb is broke on this hand. I need to go to the doctor and get the dang thing fixed. And it's a hurting. Ouch. But we're going to get these gloves on. So, okay. So now we've got it. I look like some kind of crazy surgeon at a hospital now. Gloves and glasses. All right, then. So, wow, okay, this is crazy. This kit's well, well, well worth the money. It comes with a pH reading kit. Now this is crazy. It comes with even the solution powder and everything for you to make this pH neutral. So you'll basically, first thing you wanna to do to set this thing up is, you wanna use this cup right here, take the arrowhead or whoever distilled water you're going to want to put that inside of here take your pen you're going to want to insert your pen into the water there's some calibration things that read down here on the bottom i have not seen one of these things since i was in college so uh i didn't want to just snap it off but it should just slide right off here most of them do this particular one for some reason is not okay there we go uh, sorry about that folks so you guys can see inside of here this is how it measures everything. So you'll put that inside of the water. You'll engage it. You'll put it inside of here. You'll pH balance it to its pH neutral. And then you can use this for testing out this different stuff. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna use part one. And with part one is they basically the pre-rinse for your system. 
Now, first off, for you people out there who's never done water cooling or whatever, I know this is probably a little above your head, and you guys have asked for a video on 101 water cooling. We're gonna work with Anthony Morales. We're actually going to bring that to you. So this is kind of more for advanced people. So those people out there know what's up, but basically you're gonna have a drain tube or a fill tube. And with, with part number one, you're going to remove this. And then after you mix part one, follow the instructions and all that stuff. And we'll have actually a link to some overclockers in UK where they have a full-blown thing on how to do this. So if you guys want even more information, we're just kind of giving you the overview video. So this part, you mix part one, you mix it, you put it inside the machine, you let it run with your pre-existing liquid inside of there for a few hours. Then you drain it. You redo that step again. You drain the entire system again. When that's done, you take everything out of it, you start over with distilled water again, and you use the part two. And the part two, you can run for even more hours. So basically, this all in all takes about 24 hours to do. Now, one thing to take note of when you're using part two, part two is actually going to foam up quite a bit and that's normal because it's actually a cleaning agent. So it's going to go through there. So basically, the part one, is going to go inside there. It's going to get everything ready and cleaned out that's like gunky junky. Then you're gonna move up to part two. The part two is going to go in and clean all of those bad trace minerals and everything out completely out. So part one, you put in your system, you run for two hours, rinse, repeat. Then you move to part two. Part two, you can run in your system for up to 24 hours, no longer. Then you completely drain the system out and you start from scratch refilling with your new liquid cooling. The really cool thing about using this stuff is it takes off all of the oxidation, all the gunk and junk, trace metals, and everything completely out of your system. So sometimes people say, oh, does this stuff, you know, create rust? Does anything happen? Well, if any of that type of stuff's happening inside your system, it completely removes it. Now, one thing to note, this is only good for brass, copper, steel. It's not good for aluminum whatsoever. You do not want to use it with aluminum. So, but basically, and how long, and how often you use this depends on how often you use your system. Now, me personally, this system's actually quite old. This is a Samurai system. We built this a long time ago on my previous other channel, and it's been around. So we're going to actually take that this weekend. You'll see Anthony Reynolds back on our channel once again, and we'll be cleaning this thing out and doing it with this stuff. I'm just giving you guys the prequel of what's going on with it and showing you guys what it is. So with that said, I'm Elric. I hope you guys like this style of video. I know you guys asked for it. I'm gonna reiterate once again, you guys want the Water Cooling 101. We're going to bring that to you. We're trying to get more how-to videos in house. I would do this whole thing, but draining it out and all that stuff is something that's a lot of time consuming. And even if I did that and showed you it, it just means the same thing. So if I told you here, pour water out of a cup or showing you pouring water out of a cup, it's not really that much of a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. So you guys get the whole gist of where I'm going with this thing. Another thing before I actually bounce out of here, folks, when you guys are draining the system, you want to make sure that you fully, fully dilute what you're draining. This stuff's actually eco-friendly, but you don't want to get it and clog your drain up or anything. So when you are draining your system, make sure you use lots of clear, normal water when you're rinsing it down so it all goes very cleanly down and doesn't clog anything up. So I think this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people out there say, hey, you know, I don't want to use that colored liquid type stuff, but I got to tell you, man, we just got in some new brand new silver stuff. That's right. And so this stuff looks amazing. I don't know if you guys, you know, younger generation, you're probably not going to know what I'm talking about, but you old schoolers, I know. We used to have these things back in the day, and they still have them, but they're called lava lamps, and they have this stuff spinning around. Well, you could get back in the swap meet when I was a kid, these things that had all these crazy colors, and they were inside of like a Pepsi bottle, and you move them around, and all the colors change inside. Well, Michael Wooden Gang, they've actually created something that you can put inside your system that looks like this. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but if I was at a show walking around CES, and I walked up and I saw that, I'd be like, oh, totally badass. Now, colored tubing, yeah, that's cool, but how badass is it? It's just colored tubing. Now, I'm sure you can make that really clean, but if you walk up to something and you're like, oh my God, look at all those amazing colors in that, that is awesome. And that's what these guys are really geared for. I mean, you can use this stuff in your normal use as well now, but this stuff's show stuff. It's for people who wanna go out and they wanna say, hey, look at my badass custom build and check out the stuff I'm losing in my loop using in my loop. 
And that's what it's all about, folks. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. All this information, by the way, will be down there below that like button, which I hope you guys hit. We will also have a link over to the people at overclockers.uk where they have a full-blown review on how to do this as well. We'll have a follow-up to this, folks, because we just got new colors in. And the next one I do will be actually more scientifically based. The first one, I admit, I was really a newbie doing it, and I was just having fun. But a lot of you people complained and said, hey, Elric, you don't look like the frack you're doing. Okay, I'll admit to you guys, I really didn't know that too much about it. Usually, I use this stuff from Swift text, this Hydra X stuff, and I just put it inside my system and I'm done with it. Using all this new colored stuff is new for me. I'm learning, you're learning, we're a family, we're doing it together. Love you guys. See you guys back in the channel later.